Will you believe if I say, there is a unique ratio that can be used to describe the proportions of everything, from nature's smallest building blocks, such as atoms, to the most advanced patterns in the universe, like the unimaginably large celestial bodies. This unique ratio is called as, the golden ratio. Question that comes in mind, what is this golden ratio? We find the golden ratio, when we divide a line into two parts so that, the long part divided by the short part is also equal to, the whole length divided by the long part. I was able to find these values and substituted them in the equation. This brings us to the golden ratio, 1.618. It is represented by Greek letter phi. Golden ratio is also known as the golden section, golden mean, or divine proportion. You might think, what is so special about this ratio? Mathematicians, scientists, and naturalists have known about the golden ratio for centuries. It's derived from the Fibonacci sequence, named after its Italian founder, Leonardo Fibonacci. The Fibonacci series is a sequence of numbers starting from zero arranged so that the value of any number in the series is the sum of the previous two numbers. The Fibonacci sequence is as on screen. Needless to say, the series extends to infinity. There are a few interesting properties of the Fibonacci series. As one proceeds with the series, divide any number in the series by the previous number. The ratio is always approximately 1.618. But don't let all the math get you down. In design, the golden ratio boils down to aesthetics, creating and appreciating a sense of beauty through harmony and proportion. This harmony and proportion has been recognized for thousands of centuries. From the pyramids in Giza to the Parthenon in Athens. From Michelangelo's The Creation of Adam on the Ceiling of the Sistine Chapel to Da Vinci's Mona Lisa. The golden ratio describes predictable patterns on almost everything. Don't believe it? Take honeybees for example. If you divide the female bees by the male bees in any given hive, you will get 1.618. Sunflowers, which have opposing spirals of seeds, have a 1.618 ratio between the diameters of each rotation. This same ratio can be seen in relationships between different components throughout nature. You'll find this pattern throughout nature's forms, ferns, flowers, seashells, even hurricanes, which perhaps why we find it so visually appealing because it is, indeed, nature at its finest. In fact, our brains are seemingly hardwired to prefer objects and images that use the golden ratio. It's almost a subconscious attraction, and even tiny tweaks that make an image truer to the golden ratio, have a large impact on our brains. Let us come back to some math. Further into the ratio properties, one can find remarkable consistency when a number is in the Fibonacci series is divided by its immediate succeeding number. At this stage, do bear in mind that 0.618, when expressed in percentage is 61.8%. Similar consistency can be found when any number in the Fibonacci series is divided by a number two places higher. 0.382, when expressed in percentage terms, is 38.2%. Also, consistency is when a number in the Fibonacci series is divided by a number three place higher. 0.236, when expressed in percentage terms, is 23.6%. Now the big question that comes in here is, what does all this means in stock market? To answer this, the financial markets have the very same mathematical base. Whenever a stock is in a trend, it tends to retrace its path before the next move. Fibonacci ratios are used to identify up to which level retracement can happen. These retracement levels provide a good opportunity for the traders to enter new positions in the trend direction. The Fibonacci ratios, 61.8%. 38.2% and 23.6% help the trader identify the retracement's possible extent. The trader can use these levels to position themselves for trade. While not officially a Fibonacci ratio, 50% is also used. Let us understand these with charts. In this chart, this is a low and this is high of a move. This faint red line represents previously resistance and now a support level. I have discussed the concepts of resistance and support in previous videos. Now let me place Fibonacci retracement levels on this chart. Fibonacci retracement here is placed by considering low as 1 and high as 0. If a stock is in uptrend, retracement help to get the possible levels where correction can end. If a stock retraces 1 or 100%, it has cancelled the complete move and will be near low. Here, it has retraced 0.5 or 50%. The support is near the 50% retracement. Along with all this if a reversal pattern is seen, a trade can be taken. These trades are very effective. Just to make it clear, Fibonacci retracement levels should be used as confirmation tool. 
The last trading sessions have also created a reversal pattern. I have yet not discussed them. It is a bullish Harami candlestick pattern. Until the low of this pattern is not breached, it is a good buying area. The low is around the support area or the 50% retracement. Along with this, I will show one more interesting thing in this chart. I have taken the low and the high of the correction. If we just consider this portion, it looks in downtrend. Fibonacci retracement here is placed by considering high as 1 and low as 0. The resistance is near the 61.8% retracement. Gold prices are not able to cross this resistance and looks like it is ready to fall. This is where prior trend comes into picture. Also, as previously discussed, if a resistance is getting tested multiple times, it is becoming weak. One can look also for a buying opportunity after this resistance is broken. It is even better buy signal. There is one more reason to add to a list, why gold prices can go up. It is a pattern, when US dollar falls, gold prices go up. US dollar index is in downtrend. In past few days, index was taking a bounce, to retrace its fall. I have placed a Fibonacci retracement, by taking high as 1 and low as 0 of the move. As we can see index has already retraced 38.2%. And a reversal, bearish engulfing candlestick is found. This same pattern can be found last time, when after taking bounce a new fall started. Until the high of pattern is not breached, it is a short sell opportunity. Now there is one thing that can be noticed. The faint red line represent the previously support and now resistance level. It is near 50% retracement. In case index wants to move further up, before the fall, it can always come to this level. In that case, gold may go further down. We have to consider these possibilities while taking a trade. And that's why, we always keep a stop loss while taking a trade. Have a look at this chart. Stock is clearly an uptrend. The stock is consistently forming higher highs and lower lows. Here we can clearly see, after every move stock retraces and goes further up. Let us place Fibonacci retracements. I have placed Fibonacci retracement for this move. It retraced around 61.8%. Now, I have placed Fibonacci retracement for next move. It retraced around 50%. Now, I have placed Fibonacci retracement for next move. It also retraced around 50%. Now, I have placed Fibonacci retracement for next move. Here it retraced around 61.8%. By this example you'll must have understood, how a stock moves in trend. If you see a stock in this pattern, the move will be sustainable for a long period. And clearly these helps in taking new position in a trending stock. Some important points to remember. Fibonacci retracement levels are used as confirmation tool. Only these levels should not be used to take a trade. These levels along with support, resistance, and reversal patterns are highly effective. Fibonacci retracement levels are 23.6%, 38.2%, and 61.8% of a move. While not officially a Fibonacci ratio, 50% is also used. That's it from my end. And if you have any questions, please post in comments section, I would love to clarify those. Thank you.